and gentlemen, please welcome to the America Gardens Theater, Sugar Ray. just like you guys. You're like, where is Dumbo's Wild Rides over here? Somewhere? Okay, great. Been right there with you, and I met some really cool people. In fact, yesterday I met the Johnson family. Are you here, Johnson family? Yeah. There's gotta be a Johnson family here, though, right? <laughs> and they go, Mark, will you play a favorite song of ours for us tomorrow night? I go, it would be a pleasure. They go, our favorite song is called Someday, right? <laughs> but I go, you know it's the number one song, right? Johnson family? And they go, yeah, we do. We usually don't play it that early, but for the Johnson family and every family here, because I brought mine. Yeah. This goes out to you and the Johnson family. It's called Someday. Ladies and gentlemen, Dino. I'll leave you 
right now because you guys have been singing the first two songs perfectly even the first one that we just wrote a sound check which was amazing that is really really intuitive but we're gonna have you sing this one and your part goes like this man and and help me out because I you know then my voice goes well let me let's be honest I have an on-off relationship with Key okay sometimes she leaves me sometimes she don't but you people here tonight are gonna help me your part your part goes like this Rodney stress you do an Ikea toy better. One, two, three. Hit it! Did I just hear a choir of angels? I, I do believe this is every morning. I'm 
to say hello to some of my favorite people in the world. I love these guys, man, and they put up with me, which is, let's be honest, a Herculean effort. From Australia, anybody speak German? Give it up for Christian and tell on on base. <laughs> From Laguna Beach, California, you know. Played in Ben Harbor. He played in Morrissey's band and Good Charlotte. And now he's in Sugar Ray. Give it up for Dave Montana. Oh, him? Me and my best friend in the world for 35 years who helped me co-write these songs? This is Rock and Rodney Shepard. Say hello. a lot of love in here, you know what I mean? I felt that kind of love that like as a performer, man, I'm actually doing things I shouldn't be doing, you know what I mean? Like dance moves I haven't done since 96, and I think I pulled a hammy, but I'm okay. But there's a lot of love in here, and that's what this next song's about. It's about unconditional love, and I see a lot of families here. I've met a lot of families at the park. I'm going down the water slide with my beer belly, and no one cares, man! So this goes out to all the families here tonight and everybody with unconditional love. It took me a while. I was the last guy to shut off that light in the 90s, man. Me and Kid Rock are going, who's going to shut it off? Me or you? Kid Rock's still there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wish I was too. Hey, so oh! Songs about love. I feel it here. And if you don't know unconditional love, it's what you're giving us right now. It's called When It's Over. <laughs> That's the time I fall in love again I said the 90s, not the 80s, okay? But thanks for playing. I love, I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, it's good. Anyway, uh, we wrote a song about, it's actually 18 minutes blues jam we're going to play right now. I kind of finish out the set, if you don't mind. 
because as you can see, growing up in Newport Beach, I had to get a Mercedes so I was 18 years old! <laughs> you guys are like, I already thought I hated you, no, I really didn't. <laughs> I got the blues now, baby! I got those Joe's, 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 Joe's blues! Yeah. Ronnie, take me away. Because now what you're trying to tell me, I, you know, look, just because I'm the three-time Rock and Roll Jeopardy champion, <laughs> co-star of Sharknado 2, <laughs> let me give you some of my work, um, if I can get my, if you guys can be quiet, I'll give you some of my work from Sharknado 2, you man too, <laughs> To it, man. You're too good. You should be on stage, man. I'm gonna sit down with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one more song to play for you guys. Oh, I'm still laughing. Hold on. Let me recover. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay, this song uh, actually was the first song in 1997 that brought us to you around the world, you know? And uh, these are crazy, crazy times we're living in. Like, rock and roll music is escapism to me, you know? And I know you're saying, hey, Sugar Egg guy, stay off the politics. Don't go there. And you're totally correct, but 18-year-old women, men and women watching that wall of freedom in the U.S. military, no matter where they are, I still think about them because I've got family in the military as well as you do too as well, you know, especially down here. So we're going to do this one for them. We're going to sing a little louder than normally. You guys can't sing any louder than you do. Thank you guys for such a great first show this year, man. Thank you so much. This song is called... Yeah. 
to return for other upcoming performances during the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your visit here at Epcot. Thank you.